How's it going everybody? Eon Bison here, coming at you with another International Man of the Match play review. This time it is of International Man of the Match, Vincent Eniema, the goalkeeper from Nigeria who had a great game against Bosnia. He is in the Liga 1, he's already got a team of the season. Look at all the versions of the cards, two informs, an upgrade, and a team of the season. Now he gets this International Man of the Match card. A little bit worse than his team of the season, only goes for around 16k right now. And I highly doubt that that will change. He already has two informs before him, so I'm going to find out if he is better than those two informs, if he's worth the money, and if he is a big downgrade from his team this season. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please like, comment, subscribe, and here we go. This review is underway. All right, so simply put, playing with this guy was a very interesting experience. I couldn't find out what was wrong with him in the beginning, but it took a lot of games to really find out. He has 92 reflexes, which is top class and that is the only stat with this guy that i feel really performed well in game most of the time he would react insanely quick on one-on-ones and it would be a real negative sticking his leg out fast and just doing a good job of quick reactions cat like very impressive that was the only stat i feel like he really lived up to and i'll touch on that a little bit more later but the main problem with this guy was not his positioning like some goalies have done recently it was his diving and this is interesting i haven't had a goalie with bad diving in a while his diving is an 84 but it felt worse than that diving for me is how far you can extend your body out and take up space in net this is usually evident on long shots how far he can extend his body out but he really didn't extend his body that far out in net he's very short so a lot of headers go over him and he doesn't really make up that space with his poor diving he really felt kind of slow with his diving in net, which is kind of funny because he has 92 reflexes, so he reacts very quick, but his diving, it just takes a long time for him to get off the ground, and once he's in air, he doesn't really go that far. It's an interesting part about the card, because he's really bad against long shots. On one-on-ones, his reflexes most of the time does the job, and he succeeds there. But on long shots, you will see in this video, long shots taken from outside the box or farther, he would take a long time to react, and you can see right here, he's in position. It's not like he's going backwards and then has to react a little bit later. He's in position the whole time. So he's slow to react on long shots, but very quick to react on shots inside the box. And he doesn't extend his body that far out. That's the problem, really, with his diving. His positioning wasn't really a big problem for me. He's usually in position, takes good angles on one-on-one -on -one opportunities. But you can see here, it's not really the position, it's just that he makes a poor dive, doesn't get on the ground dives in the air on a low shot, and then obviously goes in on him. He has 84 handling, which is also a weakness because he really didn't catch any balls. You see right there, that's a good reflexes shot from close I was talking about, and then another one right here. But back to his handling, he doesn't catch the ball that often, and about half the time when he saves it, he deflects it back in for a second chance opportunity, but not all of the time. Sometimes when he saves it, it doesn't go right back into play, pushes it out of bounds. Anyways, with this card, I feel like the diving and handling were the main weaknesses. Positioning was okay, it wasn't a big plus for me. The team of the season is definitely a lot better, and it go only goes for about 30k, so I recommend you pick up that card instead. Or pick up uh, team of the season Rufier, who was a very good goalie, and Sirigu, who I still find to be one of the best Liga 1 goalies his regular card. I don't really recommend this card because of those weaknesses. For a final rating, I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. Like I said, I don't recommend him. There's better options out there, at least for me. He's very short, 5'11". Diving um, was also an issue, as well as the handling. So that is it for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and more reviews and gameplay are coming up soon. Thanks for watching.